Over 20 years ago, I left my home, my beautiful Charleston, and I flew across the continent to Sitka, Alaska. I knew no one and had nothing more than a suitcase and an acceptance letter to Sheldon Jackson College. Before I left, a friend of mine, who was a little older than I was, told me that it didn't matter where I went, that I'd find the people were the same. She also said that sooner or later that I'd discover it was not people that I was trying to escape, but myself. She was right that we carry ourselves on the road, but she was wrong, too. My year on Baranoff Island transformed me in so many ways. I met Joel McDonald, one of the closest friends that I've ever had. I saw the natural world in an entirely new way, and I had numerous life-changing experiences. I'm remembering Alaska tonight because I'm preparing myself again to embark into the unknown. Also, today I said goodbye to Sumter High School one more time. I stayed in Alaska for a year and then I returned to Charleston. After Alaska, I graduated from the College of Charleston and did my student teaching in the fall of 1995 and then I was hired at Sumter High in, in January of 1996. When I first went to SHS, I knew that I would only stay a couple of years. I was going to join the Peace Corps. I was going to travel the world and write poetry. After my first semester, I almost quit teaching forever. But I decided that I didn't want to feel like I'd given up. That summer, I met Tracy Quinn. We fell madly in love. We experienced an intense romance together. By October, she was pregnant. And by April, we were married. In July, Mackenzie was born. I don't regret a single second of that time. I was extremely lucky to have been blessed with a family. What's more, it helped me discover myself as a teacher. Over the years, I found that one of the happiest places in the world for me was in the classroom. I took jobs no one wanted. Broadcast media? Sure. Journalism? Why not? Theory of knowledge? Of course. And I realized that I could control the curriculum. I designed my courses. I worked with my students. And we adapted together. For 20 years, I've been able to discuss ideas and literature with teenagers. And I was paid to do it. How incredible is that? When I left at the end of last year, I was intent on beginning my journey in August. But I had the opportunity to return to help a friend and also to help students. I chose to do it ultimately because of the purpose of this entire blog. I asked myself, what would mom tell me to do? The minute that I asked that question, I knew that I was going back to Sumter High School. I am grateful that I had a, the opportunity to work for another semester. To all of my fellow faculty and staff members at SHS, it has been an honor to work alongside you. To the students of the past and present, thank you. What we as teachers do has no meaning without you. You have taught me so much in life, and I am richer for it. Have a blue and gold spring, Sumter High School. I love you all. Until my next post, keep looking to the heavens and seeking your own star.